Hello, my name is Chris Woodward and thank you for joining me for this video which focuses on the sorted views with Arango Search, being developed for the 3.5 release of ArangoDB. Arango Search is a natively integrated AQL extension that offers full text search functionality. Thanks to the use of iResearch Library, this functionality includes text analyzers, text scoring using the TFIDF and BM25 algorithms, a lightning fast inverted index, and now with the new features coming to 3.5, even more ways to customize and speed up your queries. This video will take a quick look at the new sorted views feature that allows for creating views with sorted fields. I have provided some links that will help you get up to speed with Arango search and views in general in case you're not already familiar with those topics. Sorted views allows for optimizing queries by essentially pre-sorting the data in a view so that when a sort is called during a query, it can use what is called the primary sort key to retrieve the sorted results rather than needing to perform a sometimes costly sort after the results have been retrieved. To demonstrate this functionality, I'll be using the IMDB dataset. Specifically, we will be using the IMDB underscore vertices collection. This collection contains documents of two varieties. They are either documents with movie information or documents with information about stars of the movies. Here are examples of each. Each document contains the system attributes along with a label, last modified, and type attribute. The type attribute indicates whether the document contains movie information or cast information if the type is person. If you follow the import instructions included with our example dataset repository, it will actually import two collections as this data can also be used as a graph. However, we will only focus on one collection for this video. Setting up a sorted view will require setting a primary sort key on creation which currently is not an option in the web view. So for this, I'll be using the Arango shell. What I will do first to show off the comparison with and without this feature is create a view with no primary sort. This statement will create a view with no sort. Next, we actually need to link the view to our collection. We can do this by updating the link object. The first parameter needed is the actual data source. And then I will supply that we are indexing all of the fields in all of the documents for this view. We will also specify an additional analyzer for the description so that it will be stemmed and tokenized. The default identity analyzer will still apply to all of the other fields, but the description field will instead use the text underscore en analyzer. Once that is complete, we see the updated properties of this view, which now includes the link to our collection. Next, let's create another view. This time, we will specify a sort. The creation is nearly identical to the first view we had, but instead, we will give it a different name. And then, we need to add the primary sort object. Here, you can specify multiple field objects if you want to sort on multiple values. For this example, I'm only including one field object for label which is the name of the movie or person. Here, you can specify the direction of the sort as well. The default is ascending, but you can also specify descending. I will use ascending since it will be names and that'll give us them in alphabetical order. Just like before, we now need to link the collection. Now that we have our view set up, the best way to see exactly what adding the primary sort key accomplishes is by viewing the profile of a query. 
I just can't get enough of the Marvel movies, so for this query, I want to find all the movies that contain the phrase Captain America, so that I can get all the movies in this data set that have the first Avenger in it. I will start with a for loop that looks in our non-sorted view, and a phrase search that looks for Captain America in the description. I will then sort the movies by their label, which is also the title of the movie. This returns three results containing all the Captain America movies and an animated Avengers movie that are available in this data set anyways. If we take a look at the profile for this query, we see that it did need to do five steps to complete the query, and it also needed to utilize a sort node. Now, let's change our query to use the view that does have the sort attribute. All we need to do is change our for loop to use the view that is sorted. This still returns the same three results, but if we look in the profile, we can see that we only needed three steps instead of five to find and sort our results, and there is no sort node in this query because our direction aligns with the primary sort key direction. That was a quick look at the Sorted Views feature that is available with ArangoDB 3.5. If you have long running text searches or large data sets that require a sort, this feature can offer some nice performance improvements. Some things to keep in mind when using Sorted Arango Search Views are, even though we used a top level field, you can specify a nested attribute in the primary sort key. You can specify multiple fields, but Search will go from top to bottom and will not utilize fields out of order. The primary sort key is immutable after creation and you must drop the view and recreate it in order to change it. Thank you again for watching this quick ArangoDB 3.5 feature introduction video. And don't forget to like and subscribe this channel for more videos from ArangoDB.